All right, so your color wheel umbrella drawings. This is part two of that uh, little project. And you should have something that looks like this, okay? Now for my Coleman Egan students, um, yours might be partially colored already because we already started yours in class while school was still going on. And so you probably have a partially finished project. For my Baltic students, if you guys have a white piece of paper and a pencil and you're able to follow along with me and to draw this out, we now need to add color to it. Um, and both groups of students, you're wanting to think about this, Roy G. Biv. And we've talked about this in class before. Roy G. Biv are the colors of the rainbow. R is for red, O is for orange, Y is for yellow, G is for green, B is for blue. I is for indigo and V is for violet. Now indigo and violet, we kind of usually turn this into purple because indigo is like a blue violet and the violet is kind of refers to like the red violet. And a lot of people don't have separate crayons or markers or, or um, colors for this. So we usually just turn this into purple, okay? So on your umbrella pictures, Okay. You're going to be doing the colors of the rainbow right in there. And so if you have at home, whatever art supplies you've got. Okay, so if you have markers, you can use markers. If you've got crayons, you can use crayons. Okay, you could use colored pencils. If you have your own watercolor paints at home, you can use watercolor paints. Now, for the kids from Coleman Egan, yours will be partially done. So let's say you only have half of your umbrella colored, you're gonna have to color the other half. Now, if you've, you've probably started this in watercolor paints, but if you need to finish it in crayons or markers or colored pencils, that is perfectly fine. For my Baltic students, you'll have to just use whatever you have at home to add color to these. And sometimes I like to do something like this. I like to put like an R for red, an O for orange, Y for yellow, so I kind of have it in order. But you don't even have to follow the order. As long as you have got somewhere in here, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Um, and then you'll have a couple extra ones that you can put maybe a lime green or a pink or a black and a white maybe, whatever colors you wanna add to make your umbrellas colorful. Now, what you're gonna do after that is you're gonna add color to your sky. You're gonna add some raindrops. It might be kind of fun to, if you're still drawing and you haven't started coloring, you could even add some houses back here. Let's say you're walking in your neighborhood and you wanna add um, a house or two back here. Maybe there's a bunch of houses and you wanna color in your houses and have them be different colors too. Okay, you can do that. You can draw your own raindrops all over your paper and you could add a uh, darker blue to the raindrops or you could leave the raindrops white. I had actually on this one took a white crayon and made my raindrops with white crayon and then when I painted my watercolors they uh, the white crayon kind of popped out as white and the paint was the blue. So um, you're going to you guys are going to make these colorful. You'll have to color in your uh, rain jacket the ground, which could be green grass. It could be a gray street. Maybe you're walking on the street or the sidewalk. You're gonna have to rain, um, paint in your rain puddle or color it in with whatever um, things, art materials you have at home. I would love to for you guys to finish these pictures and then at the end of the year or in a few weeks when we're able to get back together again, I would love to be able to see what you guys did um, when you guys were working on your own at home, okay? So I will talk to you guys later and you guys have fun with your umbrella color wheels.